Boogie here with the Chelans, Lake Chelan Sports Blog, and I'm here this afternoon with Joe Harris, uh, a young man who is uh, playing professional basketball for uh, coming from the Valley. It's kind of exciting, Joey, to get a chance to, to chat with you. And we just finished, you just finished up, I should say, with your camp. Tell us a little bit about what that's all about and, you know, uh, what, how you're trying to pay it back. Um, yeah, so second uh, year in a row that we've been able to run the camp. Um, I've been fortunate enough to uh, um, get some gear uh, from Nike and a couple of other various sponsors in order to help provide for the camp. So, you know, last year we had um, quite a few kids and this year um, I kind of shortened the number down a little bit just so we could be a little bit more intimate with the kids in terms of, you know, the teaching, uh, you know, coaches to player ratio. and. I think we ended up having close to around 200 kids, which uh, was an awesome turnout. And, uh, you know, a lot of kids from the Valley or North Central Washington area, which is always encouraging to see. It's fun just uh, being able to have kids come in in their summertime to come into the gym and want to get better. It makes it a lot of fun for us as, uh, you know, coaches and um, camp staff uh, for the kids to come in with a lot of enthusiasm and effort. So just. Uh, you know, one of these things that I hope to do um, every year uh, going forward, and I just, you know, it's a great opportunity and excuse for me to get home and stay for a little while and be able to do something like this in, in my home gym that I grew up uh, playing in and going to camps in um, when I was around the same age as well. You know, I was hear all of the activity behind us, all of the coaches and the different support people that have been here to help out with camp and. Uh, uh, really a great thing, an opportunity to really enjoy one another. And these guys obviously you can see it with a smile on their faces, which is terrific. So we're going to start doing some video work here with this this afternoon and get a chance to share Joey with the community. At the afternoon session, this is going to be the 5th, 6th, 7th um, grade and 8th grade. Um, and Joey's going to be talking with them here momentarily. So. We're going to do a little uh, interview here of what's going on and what Joey has to say to help these kids prepare. Goes into a gym and he sees that he's disrespecting the game. 
you know, doing things like coming in and blocking through a workout, you know, not busting his tail in some uh, rudimentary drill where he's, you know, making a chest pass or a bounce pass. He's not the first guy in line when they break through to go at seven lines. But he doesn't take a chance on it. He doesn't want to return him. He doesn't want to waste his time with people that are you know, not respecting the game. Uh, there's been a number of players that he uh, has passed on. Um, one prime example is a kid named Derek Williams. Corey lets you know Derek Williams because he's a huge Arizona Wildcats fan. Basically, Derek Williams is, uh, uh, or he was one of the best players in college basketball. Um, and uh, he's the second pick in the NBA draft. And uh, Coach Bennett didn't want to touch him coming out of high school because he disrespected the game. So uh, uh, <laughs> um, even though he ended up being like a, a good player, he uh, still didn't want to waste his time with somebody that was disrespecting the game. So that's something for you guys to just remember going forward. Um, don't, I mean, as a poor example, I guess, of me related to Eric Williams, uh, he's become an NBA player. But it's going back to you. To uh, Coach Bennett, he's about the right stuff and getting the right kids in his program so that he wants to be a part of his program. And it doesn't matter if he ends up being uh, a great player or not, he just wants to be about the right stuff and build the right sort of culture. And that's what this camp is about, too. Is, uh, you know, we're in here, obviously, to enjoy ourselves and have a good time. Um, you guys are all taking uh, time out of your summer to come in here um, to work on your game. So, you know, you guys. Uh, you know, to show you, pay tribute and respect to the game by coming in here and you know, working hard and uh, again not disrespecting the game. Um, and then another thing that I want to touch on too, real quickly before um, I hand it over to Coach Harris, is uh, a couple of things that we had talked about yesterday that we wanted to emphasize in the camp: um, teamwork and hustle aspects. Uh, I really do believe that those are. Um, you know, two strongholds and pillars that you guys should really lean on. Uh, um, even going forward after this, I mean, I know that we're emphasizing here at camp, but like above all else, um, you know, it doesn't. I don't care if you're going out here, you know, you don't miss any shots throughout the entire day at camp. You know, you win all of the uh, competitions. You know, what's important to me and important to us is that you guys are again about the right stuff. That you guys are. Uh, you know, great teammates, encouraging one another. That's what, that's what we want to see. We want to see you guys, you know, giving high fives, telling each other good pass, good shot, encouraging one another. You know, it's fun to play with people that, that, are, that are like that. You always want to be, you know, be the teammate that you would want to have, all right? So, uh, you know, make the point of, of just being a great teammate and encouraging one another today. And then, again, you know, the effort part, that's a no-brainer. That's something that you guys should be coming in here. Um, and not even having to think twice about. You know, if you're here to get better in a short amount of time, only you know, going to be three, three and a half hours to come in, bust your tail, work hard, and try and get back. That's what this camp is all about. And you're going to have much more fun uh, you know, if you're worrying about those two things, being a good teammate and giving your best effort. So remember those two things and emphasize that all day in camp. I guarantee that you're going to have a good time. Um, and then, uh, again, the format for camp today will be similar as it was yesterday. We will have uh, some station work. Um, then we'll go through a bit a little bit more competitive stuff today. Um, that will challenge you a little bit more. Um, and then after the station work, we'll do uh, a little bit more defensive focus on drill. Then we'll compete and get into more competition uh, to finish it out. And we'll be back here at the end of camp to wrap up stuff. And there'll be some good prizes to give away. Uh, but again, above all else, let's focus on being good teammates, great teammates, and uh, you know, showing that effort and hustle that, that we expect from you guys. All right? Uh, just to uh, yeah, echo on what Joe just said, um, you talk about great teammates, that's a choice you can make. When Joe made a choice to come here and spend two days with you people. He said this yesterday, everywhere you go, you're going to leave an impression on people. You're going to leave an impression on people in everything you do. I can tell you what his impression is right now. You guys are great campers. But we're expecting you not to have slippage today. That means doing this. That means walking to the end of the line because I'm tired and hot out. I can be doing something else. 
Bust your tail. You have a good time doing that. We'll have some, we will have a lot more fun with each other. You talk about teamwork? That guy's built around teamwork. He's built around respecting the game. One of the terms we've used a number of times in our camps is the gym is a temple. You can laugh about it, but if you don't respect this place when you come in here, you're not going to get any better. You're going to go like this. Something goes against you. Instead of going, all right, I'm going to dig in, I'm going to fight. All right, let's dig in and fight this afternoon. First whistle on your feet. Ready, set? Not yet. Perfect. Are we ready to go? Give me three on three. One, two, three. some warm-up drills here to kind of loosen those muscles and aches and pains they might have gotten from yesterday and, but they're all going to uh, give it their all today because that's what they're looking for and hustle is what it's all about That beautiful camp nurse. We always love to have the, gotta have the camp nurse and the camp helpers here to do the important stuff. You can tell that some of these guys are uh, ready to enjoy camp and working, and uh, so it's uh, pretty exciting for them. basketball dribbling and handling the ball looks like uh, coach Harris has got a little bit of a break here or will be 
perhaps working with these guys. So, uh, try to get working on the jab, stabbing, dribbling around to shoot. Watching one of the group drills as Coach Harris is now, uh, Big Joe, has now arrived and is working with Coach and kids. And, uh, Coach Pearl is there and so we kind of have to see what's going to happen. And there you go. All right. So, good job there. Kids are having a good success. Good job by Sophie. Ooh, there's a good one there right there. And uh, he just goes, yeah, there we go. All right, let's see how we do here. Essential drills that these guys do is drilling the basketball to each hand to get used to the idea of dribbling uh, with all hands. Uh, and uh, we were doing some earlier where it was kind of like a, you push it out, push it back, and it bounces back out. So you're, you're back dribbling kind of high and wide in front of you and making the ball go in lots of comfortable within range uh, activities there. And uh, once again we have uh, the ladies down here. Coach Katie and her group are shooting the little shots here close by and uh, shooting the whole the rim rather than uh, using working on the backboard there. Utilize they need to practice hitting the backboard. Take that shot. And, uh, good shooters. Okay, here we go again. Coach Harris now. We're going to watch some of the dribbling activities here. Some of the kids are, are doing quite well, others aren't doing quite as well. This young lady right here seems to be uh, uh, having some success. Job. Coach Harris is checking out what everybody's doing, making sure uh, they've all got uh, activity going, and uh, that's exactly what they want. Now, that group having to do some push ups because apparently they must have missed some free throws or some shots, I should say. We're outside now. This is part of the workout. Mackenzie Harris is leading this one, Coach Harris, the Coach Harris Jr. <laughs> Got a bunch of coaches out here, and so they're out here running and working and getting some exercise, and so let's we'll see what they are doing.
Defense, gang up on him, two on each. Ready, set, go. Get two of you on each one. Chase him inside. One of the things about Joe, and this is his way of paying it back. He knows the support that he has gotten from this community is enormous. And uh, when he was at Cleveland, of course, uh, everybody had Cleveland gear on. While he was at the University of Virginia, everybody wore Virginia clothes. So it's he's got a, a, a built-in. Uh, fan base uh, just in this community of 4,000 plus people and uh, then those that go up and down the valley um, listened to a mom this morning talk about how when he was playing here in uh, Chelan and uh, whenever there was a home game she was always there watching him uh, play and watching him work out and of course it's no uh, no secret the amount of hours that he has put into the gym and if you heard him talking earlier he talked about uh, respecting uh, the gym, respecting this was his temple, if you will, uh, this place where he came for uh, workouts and work every day and, uh, uh, and to spend time becoming an outstanding shooter, an outstanding athlete, uh, and certainly uh, uh, at one point, uh, he's a great uh, teammate. I think if you talk to anyone who's been on a team with him, they would all tell you the same thing, and that is that he is a kind, and loving, caring individual with these kids. And it's fun to watch their eyes light up because in many respects, he's kind of become a hero to a lot of these kids. Much, uh, yeah, they look up to him, and, and uh, uh, you know, what a greater way to be able to mentor than doing the thing you love and being able to help people learn to love it like you do.
The Chelan, Lake Chelan Sports Blog, and I'm here this afternoon with Joe Harris, uh, a young man who is uh, playing professional basketball for uh, coming from the Valley. It's kind of exciting, Joey, to get a chance to, to chat with you, and we just finished, you just finished up, I should say, with your camp. Tell us a little bit about what that's all about and, you know, uh, what, how you're trying to pay it back. Um, yeah, so second uh, year in a row that we've been able to run the camp. Um, I've been fortunate enough to uh, um, get some gear uh, from Nike and a couple of other various sponsors in order to help provide for the camp. So, you know, last year we had um, quite a few kids, and this year um, I kind of shortened the number down a little bit just so we could be a little bit more intimate with the kids in terms of, you know, the teaching, uh, you know, coaches to player ratio, and. I think we ended up having close to around 200 kids, which uh, was an awesome turnout. And, uh, you know, a lot of kids from the Valley or North Central Washington area, which is always encouraging to see. It's fun just uh, being able to have kids come in in their summertime to come into the gym and want to get better. It makes it a lot of fun for us as, uh, you know, coaches and um, camp staff uh, for the kids to come in with a lot of enthusiasm and effort. So just. Uh, you know, one of these things that I hope to do um, every year uh, going forward, and I just, you know, it's a great opportunity and excuse for me to get home and stay for a little while and be able to do something like this in, in my home gym that I grew up uh, playing in and going to camps in um, when I was around the same age as well. You know, I was fortunate to get to help this year, and uh, one of the things I found really interesting was how many people coming from out of the area pay so much attention to you and your career. Does that uh, surprise you at all? I think, uh, you know, growing up, I kind of knew all the players in the surrounding area. And, uh, you know, even the guys, Josh Kuprider, people like that that played basketball overseas. Um, you know, obviously the guys from Chelan, Phil Cole and Jeff Carlson, Brooke Nickel, guys like that. But, you know, the list can go on for a number of guys that, you know, I could I, I could have told you exactly where they played college ball or even if they had an opportunity to play professionally. So, um, you know, the fact of the matter, me playing, um, at the University of Virginia and being able to kind of get into the national spotlight and then playing in the NBA. Uh, not that it dwindles the fact of anybody else playing overseas, but just the magnitude of it. I'm sure as a kid growing up, it's uh, you know a little bit easier to follow than um, you know perhaps some other players. Now, you're finding that you're having to spend a lot of time traveling from place to place right now, Joe, with things, uh, you know, you know where you'll go next and uh, are you spending quite a bit of time on the road to do that yeah so i've been based out of um out of new york for the last four or five months that's where i've done my uh, physical therapy and rehab i had surgery in january and so i've been in new york city um, doing my rehab and, and physical therapy for there for the last up until this point um in time and you mentioned that you had that surgery and there was something to do with your foot um can you tell us a little bit about that just kind of you know what brought it on and maybe just quickly you know what you've been through to kind of get yourself ready for the upcoming season yeah i just had a uh um a little bit of a fracture uh where in the base of my fifth metatarsal the bone had chipped off and then i had to just get the bone removed because it was floating in my foot and uh 
the severity of the injury is not that not that big. Um, the only reason I had to stay out for as long as I had to is because the bone was attached uh, near tendon, which tendon had to be severed in order for the surgery to take place, and that's what um, you know made my rehab as long as it was. And you you're looking in an awfully good shape, and I know that you work with various people on, you know, it, it must be kind of a, a day to day thing that you have to do to keep yourself always ready for that for that next uh, game that comes up and and uh, what, what just quickly what kind of a, a routine would you have in a, in a day let's say for well this is my job now so this is all I really worry about is just taking care of my body and playing basketball so as long as I'm a professional basketball player that's what my job will be and hopefully I can do it for a long time yeah and 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 I know that paying forward is a big thing for you and is that kind of what you feel you're doing right now? And I hear you telling the kids that they need to do that as well. That's an important thing, isn't it? Um, you know, I mean, I wouldn't even necessarily say I look at it like that. Or, you know, I just think that it's a, you know, it's a good opportunity. If I was growing up and there happened to be, um, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I grew up going to, you know, Clint Holes camps. Um, at the terrace, and I remember going to Luke Rudenauer's camp in Kashmir, or when Lauren Fredericks would come to Chelan, that was always a big deal. So, you know, I just kind of grew up going to camps in this gym, and you know, my dad has ran camps for a number of years, so it's really, you know, not that, you know, it's not that big of a deal um, in terms of us, like, you know, logistically planning everything out and trying to get stuff organized. You know, we were fortunate enough to have gym space here in the valley. And, you know, it's fun for us to come back and do it. It's probably just as much fun for us to do it as it is for the kids. Great. Well, Joe, I know you got to get going. So thank you, thank you so much yep. for your time thank and you best Thanks of luck you. to you the upcoming season.